not that I wanted to write this book, I needed to write this book. <laughs> Ever since I've been in that house in the Rue de Monceau, just a few doors down from my own family house, the house which is so um, central to the hair with amber eyes, that whole story about family, I've been drawn to this empty house, the Musée Nissine de Camondo, this, this house created as a memorial for a lost son, but having so much more resonance as a house for a lost family. And so during the lockdown last year, in that complete silence, I found myself walking around my studio, walking around this space, talking to Moïse de Camondo. <laughs> I was supposed to have an exhibition there. It's planned, it will happen. But rather than having a spring in Paris, walking around the house, here I was in London. And so I started to talk to him and talking aloud to him in an empty studio became letters. And the letters built, they were letters which are letters of inquiry and reflection and sometimes um, amused, sometimes slightly um, awry, um, but letters of all kinds of moods, asking him about his life, about his family, about what it is to become French, what it is to experience anti-Semitism, what it is to try and keep a collection together, which is something, obviously, that I spend my whole life um, obsessing about. <laughs>